the Joe Rogan experience. I know you liked a lot of aspects of living up there, but what's like, is there one thing that really stands out? One thing would definitely be the autonomy, the independence. I think it's just a natural need that humans have. You watch a little baby when they learn to crawl. They start separating from their mother a little bit. Then they start to learn to stand up, but they're still holding on to the wall. Then they start taking their first steps. And it's like, wow, I can stand on my own feet. You know, they get all excited and start running along before very long. Hmm. And um, I think we just need that feeling of independence, some people more than others. But it's the same basic thing for me. It's just like to be out there totally independent on my own. Nobody else is going to help me if I have a problem. You know, if I'm up on a mountain and I don't have a satellite phone with me, I got to be able to walk back to my camp. I have to be able to. There's literally no choice. Right. And just to have that degree of responsibility mm. that in modern society you don't have. You can't have that degree of responsibility in modern society for yourself. You can't have that level of independence of is it, standing on your own. Is it hard for you to like come to a place like LA? Like what is it weird? Like what is it what's the feeling when you're driving on the 405 from the airport headed over to the studio? You had to be you have to be like why the fuck would anybody live here? No, no. No. I find it fascinating. It's it's interesting because it's a different environment. I mean, I'm very curious about the way people live everywhere. But I do find myself realizing why I don't live in a big city, you know? I, yeah. I, I find it very, really nice, it's interesting. I mean, sleep in a hotel, have a shower. It's like, well, this is cool. The water comes toilet. out hot. A to I don't like toilets. We have toilets. two toilets here. Did you use one yet? Yeah, I used one in a hotel, but they build them too high. I'm we, used to squatting. And I oh, don't. squatting. <laughs> you can get a squatty potty. You know what that is? No, they it's, make them? Yeah, it's like a thing that they put underneath the toilet you put your feet on. Oh, yeah. So it sort of puts your butt in the, the right position. To I'll, ask, I'll ask the front desk if they get one tonight. I don't think they will <laughs> say yes. But that's what uh, you're supposed to have, right? Like You're supposed to be in a position where you're squatting. That's the yeah. natural position for humans to shit. It works for me. That's another thing I like about it out there. Okay, there's the autonomy. The independence is very important. And I think a lot of people are missing that, and that's why they're attracted to, to learn something about that life. But also just, like I said, when you do these basic things, it could be taking a crap, it could be taking a shower, whatever, in, in a different way out in nature. I mean, you can't, a lot of people can't bathe outside if they wanted to. They don't have the privacy. or the, um, But when that's your, your normal thing, I mean, it becomes... A totally natural thing and it, it's like very healthy and it's beautiful like it connect, you're out there looking at mountains all around in nature little tweety birds flying by while you're bathing you know you're not sealed off in some little fiberglass cubicle mm. you're yeah. connected to everything yeah it's it's a 100 percent different way of living life and your your perceptions change your senses change in the modern world there's a lot of extraneous noise and imagery that we're filtering out all the time. You can't pay attention to everything. Did you ever get injured while you're up there? Uh, yeah, yeah. But you can't pay attention to everything. I'll get to it. Okay. You can't pay attention to everything, so you're filtering stuff out all the time, right? Right. And when you're out in that environment, it's very quiet. You're not getting inundated with all of this extraneous noise and you're instead of filtering you're tuning in you're really tuning in like one little bird that hasn't been around the valley flies through i'll know it i'll hear it wow hey that was a pine gross i haven't heard one of those for a while you know? mm. you're paying attention to everything and that's really different it changes it changes the way you think there's a feeling that you get when you're in the real wilderness like particularly um we did some hunting on Prince of Wales. Yeah. And, uh, you know, when you're, you're out there, it's raining, rains every day. Hmm. And there's this feeling of beautiful isolation. You, like, you're really isolated. I mean, you're really alone. 
There's no, you don't see anything, you don't hear anything. And there's this indifference that nature has towards mm. you. That's really humbling. It's like it puts you in your place. Yeah. Total Human, indifference. Humans need that. They need to be put in their place. Like I, I always say that some of the nicest people live near mountains and live near the ocean. I think the reason being is the ocean just lets you know, hey, bitch, look at that. You ain't shit. Look at that water. That's, you can't you can't survive there. And knowing that there's something right there that you can't survive in, it's like a there's a, it checks you a little bit. The yeah. mountains check you. The, the 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 sheer beauty and the vastness. Like if you know you're looking out at the continental divide and you see the 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 Rocky Mountains, it's like it's humbling. It's yeah. humbling. On the one hand, you feel really strong being able to do what you're doing there, but on the other hand, you feel really small. Yeah, really vulnerable. Really insignificant. 